Greens adopted Amendment 16. In one by one, members of the European Parliament approved a sweeping new pact on migration that has been years in the making. The vote followed a heated debate and opposition from those on the left who argued the rules were too harsh and from those on the right who said they didn't go far enough. Instead, the entire EU will mimic Sweden's migrant problems, gang wars, overrun welfare systems and increasing Islamism all over Europe. There will be more violence at the borders, more human rights violations for asylum seekers. This parliament and its members need to be able to vote. Protesters interrupted the debate to speak out against the legislation, but in the end, all 10 provisions of the Pact on Asylum and Migration passed, ensuring that all 27 EU countries are using the same rulebook. It is a huge achievement for Europe, and this excellent achievement is built on the outstanding work of so many. Among the provisions, the establishment of border detention centers, the speeding up of the processing of asylum requests and deportations. The law also allows the bloc to send migrants to countries outside the EU, which are deemed safe if the migrant has some ties to that country. In addition, EU countries are required to take in thousands of asylum seekers from frontline countries, such as Italy and Greece. Not a fortress Europe but a well-guarded house with more secure external borders and clear rules on who is entitled to enter. More than 100 migrant groups and nonprofits have spoken out against the reform, arguing that the new rules will make it more difficult for refugees to seek protection in Europe. The European Commission will decide in the coming months how the pact will be implemented, with the new rules set to come into effect in 2026.